ओके दिस इज कॉल्ड विजिबल लाइन सोलार करोनाग्राफ अब्रीवेटेड एज बीईएलसी दिस इज ए सोलार इंस्ट्रूमेंट Uh, which is going to uh, L1 orbit, uh, which will be launched tomorrow, and uh, this instrument actually it 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 will make occultation with the solar disk, and then uh, the it will enable us to see the corona uh, in the visible channel as well as three spectroscopic channels. So uh, as uh, you are seeing, we are having an entrance aperture here, which is uh, th called this one. So this will get deployed when it reaches L1 after some performance tests and other things. And when the solar light enters through this uh, aperture, the disk light part of it is thrown out by this uh, small uh, uh, this door, uh, which is one time deployable. Whereas this is multiple deployable door. And uh, after the disk light is rejected, the corona light is uh, fed into the uh, continuum channel, that is visible channel, and other three spectroscopic channels. After passing through an optical train, uh, then uh, the, after the image part of it is uh, made, then the light passes through the uh, diffraction grating, and where the light is spray, uh, split and dispersed uh, into uh, three different uh, uh, wavelengths. Uh, and after that, uh, these three different wavelengths will be uh, 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 analyzed by three de uh, de de detectors. So, uh, uh, for the spectral lines and other spectroscopies and other things. So, uh, th this is the uh, total uh, instrument uh, part of it. The main purpose of this thing, it will give you an eclipsed uh, sun always, which you can't get naturally. So when you uh, when some eclipse happens, then only the, our scientists uh, they have to run with backpacks to that place, and then they may get to, to see the sun or not because of the uh, weather and other things like clouds and other things. But whereas this instrument uh, standing at the L1, it will enable continuous observing of the sun and corona, and it will uh, feed corona. And the other co-passengers also are there, like uh, 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 so SUVIT, that is the Solar Disk Imaging uh, Telescope, and uh, many, uh, whereas that is a uh, complement to this instrument, like uh, that will observe only the this one uh, uh, disk light, whereas this will observe the, only the coronal light. So uh, in one uh, mission, you are getting both uh, disk light as well coronal light. And many other uh, instruments like a uh, plasma particle analyzer, uh, and like uh, we call it as PAPA, and uh, the Solex, and magnetometer, and all these things are uh, avail uh, available on the same uh, platform. So uh, this is a unique uh, mission, though other two uh, missions were flown like uh, so uh, SOHO and other things by, U uh, in, uh, by this uh, European Space Agency and NASA. This, uh, we are going very close to the sun, 1.02 uh, or not like that. That's how uh, this mission is very unique. So at the same time, uh, uh, very uh, high risk is there, like uh, we are, since we are going very close to the risk, uh, very close to the sun, so uh, disk light leaking into the system is a uh, big uh, disaster. So that is taken care at the in the design level uh, with uh, tight uh, tolerance and uh, dimension stabilities so that uh, the disk light uh, uh, will not uh, reach and we have tested that in many uh, platforms so uh, uh, and after integration of all these things it has gone through a thorough test uh, to survive in the space environment and launch loads and this whole uh, test uh, survival and test everything is uh, uh, done in isro uh, facilities uh, like uh, vibration acoustics and thermal and all these things and uh, uh, after all the test again the uh, performance of the instrument was tested and uh, uh, it was ensured that it is uh, 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 it is giving a same performance uh, be, uh, which was uh, uh, prevailing before the tests so uh, this ensured that uh, our uh, instrument will uh, survive all these launch loads and also this orbital heating loads and other things and it will give the same performance as well in space what it delivered in the lab. I wish all the best to our team and ISRO uh, uh, for tomorrow's launch. From breaking news, detailed analysis, in-depth interviews and explainers. 
follow the times of india subscribe to our youtube channel don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest